Welcome back to the arena guys today we are here with another episode in today's episode I'm gonna show you guys how you can two star town hall 13 bases with town hall 11 so I think this is gonna be very useful for CWL also for trophy pushing and this is a strategy that I used to trophy push my account to legends league we made it yesterday so today I'm gonna show you guys the strategy that I used and teach you guys how to two star Town Hall 13 basis. So if you are new to my channel, make sure you guys subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future uploads. Now let's dive into the first replay and show you guys how you can do it. So the main thing you want to focus when trying to two star a base is that you need to secure the Town Hall and also get the 50 percentage. So the best way to ramp up your percentage is by using cheap troops and getting maximum value. What I mean by that is a baby dragon is really really good for this because it's just 10 housing space and it will tank some time and deal a lot of damage to the buildings. So we just use two baby dragons on either corner and we take to take and we have taken down around 6% of the base. Now if you take a look at the top, we have one minion used on the top, which is just two housing space, which will take down that building completely. And if you have an archer at the bottom on top of the spell factory, which is taking that down. So this is how you need to use your cheap troops and try to get maximum value from them. So we have totally secured around 8% of this base, which is around 8 buildings. And once your archers and minions are getting enough value, you have to try and take down the town hall next. Don't be so fast and just rush all of your troops to the town hall, then you might not get the 50 percentage. You need to secure the percentage before you go for the town hall. So here comes the main troops. We got a Pekka's wall wrecker and the heroes with the support of the healers and the bowlers going straight into the town hall. We have six free spells in this army composition. It is just to freeze all the heavy hitting defenses like Expos, scatter shots, even the town hall or the Eagle Artillery or Single Infernos which is dealing a lot of damage to your troops. You want your troops alive to take them down. So once the Wall Wrecker reaches the Town Hall, we're gonna freeze the Town Hall and Rage and heal at the same time just to ensure we are taking it down. We have a Yeti inside the Clan Castle which is very very good in taking down the Town Hall because of the Yeti Mites. So now we have already taken down 36% of the base and we got only a Queen and the Warden left out. And with Queen with her ability, she's taking down all the weaker buildings on the core. So right now we have secured 42% of this base. And here comes the baby dragons, which we were saving. It's going to take down some of the other buildings. And you just need to take a, two more buildings to get the percentage. So we got one wizard on the right side, taking it down and we secure the 50 percentage. And your job is over. This is what you need to focus. Make sure you take down at least 10% of the base. Or it's just an average number make sure you take down all the free buildings which you can so when you're doing it in trophy pushing it might be a little bit harder because you cannot know exactly where the troops the defenses will actually target but if you're doing it in a war attack you might want to scout the base before you're attacking so you can check which are all the free percentage which you can just snipe away so now let's take a look at the second example and teach you guys how to do it so here comes one baby dragon from the bottom clearing out that entire section and when you're sending in baby dragons make sure they are out of the range of the air defenses because the air defenses will take the baby dragon so quick. So when they are out of the range of the air defense they can really give you a lot of value. Now look at the one archer on the top it's actually outside of the range of the archer tower and it will be able to pick down the gold mine the dark spell factory and the another gold mine giving us 3% of the base. So that's what you want to mainly focus. Try to take down the maximum percentage with your troops like archers, wizards and minions. And once you've done that, make sure you're sending in the big push towards the town hall and destroy it. And you're going to secure the next star. Once the 50% has arrived, you're going to get the two stars. And once you've sec secured the two stars, you're going to get out of the base. So now we have secured around 15% of the base and we are still having insane archer value on the top. And here comes our big push from the bottom forcing towards the town hall. 
So in most of the bases, you will see the town hall on the outside of the base. So it's going to be easy to reach the town hall. But in some bases, the town hall may be in the depth of the base, which could be a bit harder to get through. In that case, you might need to use the free spells to protect your wall wrecker. Because if the wall wrecker goes down early, then you're not going to get access to the town hall. Then you might not get the percentage. And once we've taken down the town hall, our troops manage to go into the core of the base and take it down. And make sure you free single infernos, which are locked onto your packers and your heroes, because you want to get the 50 percentage. And once the percentage is there, it's just done. You got the two stars. And make sure you also get extra percentage, because when it comes to clan war leagues, your percentage is always important. So whichever troops you can use to get more percentage, make sure you do that when it comes to clan war leagues. So now let's show you the final example. And let's go and take a look at this attack. Another two star against this. This is actually a town hall 12. So we had town hall 11 versus 12. I thought I'll show one replay of that as well. Same way we are trying to get the maximum percentage with our smaller troops before we send in our big push to the town hall. So I thought this is going to be a great example to show you guys when the town hall is placed in the depth of the base. That's actually exactly in the center of this base. So you might need to protect your wall record till there. Otherwise, you're not going to get the second star. So here we go. We're, we're spraying out those minions and those archers on the top trying to get the maximum percentage and that archer is going to really pick up a lot of value because she's out of those two archer towers range and here comes another baby dragon picking up some extra percentage and we've already taken down 13 percentage of this base and we got still those minion alive picking up some extra percentage and make sure you also try to set up a funnel for your troops when it comes to bases like this because there's a lot of empty spaces in front of the town hall, so your troops might walk around and you might not get enough power through the town hall. In that case, you might want to set up a funnel for your troops with the baby dragon before you send in your packers and your heroes. So as soon as that motor goes down on the top, you secured 60 percentage and here comes the packers because now the funnel is also set for the packers so they're not going to walk around the base. You also want to ensure that you have enough power moving to the town hall so you get it down and also don't overcome it on the town hall and miss the 50 percentage keep an eye on the percentage always so you don't miss out on that and here since all the bowlers since i said to you guys we need to funnel down the base it wasn't funneled properly but still the wall wrecker made it all the way to the core of the base and I told you guys the Yeti inside it is very important because the Yeti might deal a lot of damage to the town hall. And only because of that, we were able to get down the town hall and secure the two star. As you guys can see, nothing went to the town hall other than the wall wrecker. Only the wall wrecker along with the CC troops were able to take down the town hall in that case. But those CC troops were a bit dealing a lot of damage to our troops. So that's why you have six free spells. Make sure you use them to secure the town hall and get the two stars. When once that is done, you're going to get out of the base and that's it. Try to always get the maximum amount of percentage when it comes to clan war leagues because the percentage always matters there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you guys to use this on clan war leagues because we see a lot of mismatches in clan war leagues. So if you find one, I think this video is going to be really helpful for you guys. So let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like on this video and comment your thoughts down below. If you have any other tips to share, make sure you leave it in the comment section so the other viewers who are viewing this video will be able to go through the comments and get some additional tips as well. And that is all for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. So please don't forget to leave a like on this video, subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you're new. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, clash on.